Good evening and welcome to this time of prayer and listening to God's word at the end of the day. I'm recording this for Monday the 7th of November and I'm going to be taking the readings that are set for evening prayer. Psalm 4 and Matthew, the end of Matthew chapter 4 going into chapter 5. So Psalm 4 and Matthew Matthew 4 going into chapter 5. My name is Vicky, I'm part of the team at St Thomas's Blackpool. And if you would like to have a candle lit for this time together, or indeed have a cross in front of you, please feel free to do either or both of those things. Let's just be still for a moment and release the things of today and focus on the presence of God because he is with each one of us wherever we are. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so as we come before a holy God, our holy God, we know there are things of today where we have grieved him, things we might have thought, said or done. And we need to keep a short account with God. So in a few moments of quiet, allow the Holy Spirit to prompt you and I, to release to God those things of today where we need to say sorry. Knowing that we have a God of such mercy and grace and he will release us if we confess our sins. So let us be still for a moment. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And now the night prayer song said as a poem. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4, and I'm reading from the New International Version. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
And now the reading from Matthew chapter 4, beginning at verse 23. Jesus heals the sick. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and illness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralysed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea and the region across the Jordan followed him. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. In that faith, we turn to pray. And I will be using some of the words from Psalm 4 and from Matthew 4 and 5. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Lord, help us to trust. Trust in your word and in, in all that you are, Lord. You are almighty, everlasting, eternal. And you've said in your word that you have set apart your faithful servant for yourself and that you hear us when we call to you. Lord, help us to be faithful. Give us greater faith, Lord, that we will serve you. As we lay down to sleep tonight, Lord. Help us to understand that in you we have peace. Peace not as the world gives, but the peace that you alone can give. So Lord, we ask for peace, not only for ourselves, but for our community, for our nation and for our world. Lord, we come to you in, in prayer tonight for all those in positions of power and authority in our country and in the world. 
for those areas of the world where there is conflict, natural disasters, hunger, any need of any kind, Lord, of the people. We may not see those in distress, but you do. And Lord, we pray for them, calling in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that you will bring about justice and that your peace will reign. Lord, we understand that we are in a fallen world and that we are fallen people. But you, Lord, have granted us the means of salvation. You have given us Jesus Christ and faith in him means that we have eternal life in you. Lord, forgive us when our faith is not strong. Speak to us through your Holy Spirit, Lord, and raise us up. May we speak up for those who have no voice. May we pray for those unable to pray for themselves. And tonight, Lord, we think about those people we know who are ill at this time and need your healing touch. From our own Fellowship of St. Thomas's, we pray for Leah. For Norman and Jean. For John. And we particularly pray this night, Lord, for Jack Hull, a faithful servant who is now on end of life care. Lord, grant him your peace. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray for those who minister in your name, for those who lead congregations, fellowships across our town and across Lancashire. Lord, may there be a great unity in all the, who call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Make us one, Lord. We may have different styles of worship, but those who believe in Jesus are made one in his name. And we pray, Lord, for greater increased unity between brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, you have told us in these words tonight, Lord, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the meek, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, blessed are the merciful, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you pour out upon us. Help us to be aware, day by day, of your blessings. And help us, Lord, to be the poor in spirit, because we then need to depend on you. Blessed are those who mourn, and we do pray, Lord, for those who are grieving this night, that they may indeed 
be comforted by your Holy Spirit. May we be meek, knowing that you are our defender. May we hunger and thirst for righteousness. May we be merciful, Lord. May we be pure in heart. May we be peacemakers. And give us, Lord, the strength that we need when we face persecution. Help us, Lord, in all circumstances to see you at work and rejoice and be glad knowing that our reward is in heaven. And so let us draw our prayers to a close by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as we draw this time of prayer and worship to a close, if you did light a candle at the beginning of our time together, please do remember to extinguish it before you go to sleep. And you will recognise these words because we've had these words in Psalm 4. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And let's bless one another. If you know the words, please say them with me from Numbers chapter 6. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. Good night and God bless.